Hey guys, this is Matt from MG Modern Watches, and we're here today with something a little bit different. It's a um, how-to on NATO straps, and uh, NATO straps are something that are a little bit new to me, but uh, it's quite popular in the watch world, and you know, you see a lot of pictures of guys with NATO straps. I'm sure like many of you, when you first get into watches, and I'm still relatively new, um, it could be a little bit of a mystery. Uh, you know, I prefer a bracelet. You buy a watch with a bracelet, a strap. You kind of like the look of it, the overall look, and you just want to kind of keep it that way. Um, so I kind of didn't think I would be into NATO straps. I wouldn't be a NATO guy. But as I got a little bit more in the watch world, I saw a lot of pictures of watches with them on. Um, some watch styles particularly take to them like dive watches, some Mariners, some Mariner homages. Um, here I have my Polaris Speedmaster homage, which is another one I've seen a lot with NATO straps. They look great. So if you're a little bit unfamiliar, I'm just gonna show you a quick how-to on two ways to put in a NATO strap. So when you get your NATO strap, I got bought this one from Crown & Buckle, uh, which is a popular site. There's a number of different sites. You can get them at Toxic NATOs. Um, you can get them on Amazon, AliExpress. Um, but wherever you get them from, they're pretty similar um, fabric type straps. Uh, the thing I like about Crown and Buckle, one, the prices are very reasonable. They're very high quality NATO straps, and there are different levels of NATO straps um, quality available on their site. So you can find something if you want something a little more um, robust or a little bit um, firmer um, with higher quality material. You can pay a little bit more if you just want a basic one. You can pay for that. Um, this is kind of one of their mid tiers. It's a khaki NATO strap. And you can see the NATO strap is kind of like a long strip of fabric um, with this bottom part that goes a little bit of the way, um, has, uh, has a buckle strap holes. So first I'm gonna go over the most common way to do this. So you have your NATO strap, you have your watch with both spring bars attached to the case and First thing you would do is slide your strap between the spring bar and the case and pull it out the bottom on the other side. So this is the most common way to do this. Pull it all the way through, all the way till you get to the point where these two ends of the strap meet. So you do that, oops, and put this back through again. Pull it all the way so it's tight and you have the one strap underneath the watch case. What you do is fold this under so now you have this bottom part of the strap underneath the watch case as well. Slide the strap through this metal piece and now you have the watch that's somewhat centered um, between these two uh, buckle pieces. So this is the most common way. I'm gonna put it on my wrist. Actually, I might take this off screen just to make it a little easier. And, oops, excuse me. So then you slide the watch through the watch strap through this buckle piece, pull it all the way, and just put your uh, buckle through the strap hole. So now you have the watch strap you can push through both ends of this metal uh, the metal buckle and this is what you're left with now you have this extra flap here and what you do is just tuck it down through that top piece and there you go so this is the most common way to wear a NATO strap but I admit when I first started seeing NATO straps online and pictures of them the thing I really didn't like is this top loop at the top that loops up. And I know a lot of people must like that look. To me, it just feels bulky. It looks like extraneous. Um, just not a fan of that look. Even though I kind of like the look of a watch on a NATO strap, I just really dislike this top loop. So what I did was kind of Google different ways to put them on and see if there's another way to put them on. And I found what was called uh, an over under method which I really prefer and really was a game changer for me in my interest and love of these straps. So I'm gonna show you the way to do that in case you're interested. 
So again, start with the strap, have our watch case, and we're gonna start off the same way. So slide the watch strap through the spring bar in the case, come back out the other side. Now the difference here is you're not gonna pull it all the way back here. We're gonna only pull it part of the way. So we still have this hanging piece up top. So this is the way I like to do it. I like to pull it um, so that the last strap hole is a little bit below the case. So let me take a little adjustment, but something like that, where you have the last strap hole um, here. And I have a six and three quarters inch wrist, so this works well for me. So now this is what it looks like. There's only one piece of strap under the case, a little less bulk between your wrist and the watch case. Um, and then, what you do is put the watch on your wrist, and then what you're gonna do is pull both of these metal pieces together, and you're gonna slide the, the other end of the strap through both of these. So I'm gonna do that here, through the first one and the second one. A little tricky to do with one hand, but here you go. So now what you have is the two metal pieces together and you can put your strap hole in. Now this is what the bottom of the watch should look like. So now it's a little bit more like a traditional strap. And the thing I like about this is you don't have that extra loop on top. It's just um, the watch strap. Now the only thing you may notice is now we have this little piece of a uh, strap hanging, which isn't desirable. So what you do is just tuck this very small end back into this first metal piece. And there you go. So now the bulk is under the watch, but it's not too bulky. You only have the one strap underneath, not both like the traditional method. And from a top view, you have that NATO look, but you don't have that big loop on top. So this is a way I prefer to do it. I love it. It's really had me um, wanting to try NATO straps on different kinds of watches a little bit more and um, definitely works a lot better for me. So that's another method you could use. I highly recommend it if you're um, not into NATO straps because of that big loop. This is a great way to do it. And um, Try to give it a shot and try it out. Let me know how it goes in the comments. And hopefully we'll be doing a few more of these <laughs> beginner how-to videos. Again, I'm still relatively new to the watch world, so it's nice to kind of have some references for people who are in the same boat. So hopefully you get some value out of this. And thanks for watching again. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. If you like our content, follow us on Instagram at mg underscore modern underscore watches. And thanks so much for watching again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.